Look, what is this missile? Literally a missile. Why? <laughs> hey, whose trailer is that? Huh? Yeah, whose trailer is that? Yeah, for me. That's your trailer? Get a Oh, no. Please, please, for the love of God, don't tell me that that's the box where all the weight is hidden. Do not. Please don't. I, If I press play on this and he opens that box up and it has cocaine in it, I I, I might even delete the video, bro. That would piss me off so much. Yes, sir. Turn around right now. He's behind your back. <sighs> You're playing around with that much weight, that much jail time, that much of somebody's money, and that's where you hide it? That just confirmed the fact that there's a mega snitch, there's the super snitch, a superstar of all snitches. Could I smoke a cigarette real quick? Yeah, I'm waiting for the other guy to get here. We're about three minutes away. Hey, at least he's asking for a cigarette. <laughs> ask him if he wants to cooperate with this investigation. Can you ask him that? Oh man, we got another one of these crazy videos on our hands, bro. And this one is sent to me as well. And I literally don't know nothing about this besides the description, which says that somebody involved in this operation turns into an informant. So basically somebody snitches and it causes this traffic stop to turn into a $2 million dollar plus cocaine bust if that's not a crazy title i don't know what is and with that being said i got nothing else to say bro i'm excited for this one before we press play on it though make sure y'all join the patreon if you haven't already it's not something where you join and get nothing bro you're gonna get exclusive crazy content that is crazier than anything i have up on the channel i mean that you can go through every single video i have nothing will beat what's on the patreon so check that out the link is in the description it's also the best way to support the channel y'all know we don't do no fake ass trash sponsorships bro so that's linked below and without further ado let's let's watch this bro let's go get, get you guys some food man this was gonna be good I mean, this just show y'all, right? I know we haven't even gotten into it yet, but in all of these, well, we've only taken a look at one so far. So this is the second one we're taking a look at. But basically what I'm trying to say is if the police want to stop you, they can, bro. They can. All they have to do is make up some bullshit excuse and they can stop you now in this situation obviously we know beforehand that somebody snitched somebody tipped the the police off so that's why he's stopping them but the police can make up anything bro you were driving too slow by one mile you were i don't know you turned your lights on anything small they can use to make up an excuse to pull you over but let's see are you driving for a friend yeah my friend uh, i know him owner of the york yeah, yeah. In here? No, no, it's the, the, the song. Team driver? Let me see. Yeah. Hey, I'm on you. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? You guys are team drivers? Whoa, 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 hold on. What oh. the hell is this? What is this, bro? What is this bazooka right here? Literally, what? Th that is not the, um, 
the brake thing, bro. It, that is not the the manual shift stick. What is that? Somebody let me know in the comments. What is this thing right here, bro? Hold on, look. Let's see if I can move it up a little bit. Yeah, look. What is this missile? Literally a missile. Why? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this, bro. What is this? That is no, that can't be the manual shift stick, bro. That can't be. That is a missile, bro. Is that the emergency brake for the entire truck? Let me know in the comments. What is this goddamn ballistic missile I'm looking at, bro? You guys are team drivers? No. This tank, they need their... Uh, huh? The, the new uh, driver license, uh, the permit. You're not driving yet? And homie has a Mexican accent. Yeah, this is something to do with the cartel. Listen, if I'm wrong, I'll let y'all know. But I can tell, bro has an accent on him. He's straight from Mexico, my friend. And he's uh, the fact like, this is the second. It's crazy, bro, because this is the second video we're taking a look at. But if I get an update on these videos, I'll give you guys an update because we know the cartel doesn't play, especially when it's something that big, right? When it's a big bust, that means they lost their money unless they were paid for it beforehand. Because one of y'all pointed that out in my comments one of you guys commented in my last video saying hey bro uh if they were paid for the product the weight i'll say that beforehand then they won't be coming after the snitch because they already got their money the other party might be coming after the snitch but the cartel won't but if they didn't get paid bro and you got busted like this and the informant was as stupid as that one girl that we took a look at in the video you know the, the the one that stitched in the last video it's uh it's just not good looks man so i can tell maybe i'm just being too stereotypical but homie has a mexican accent especially with this kind of weight involved bro two million dollars worth of cocaine definitely ties with the sea people i'll say that but let's see man why are you in the truck oh, okay okay showing him how to do it is that what said Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you live in Miami? Yes. And the company's at uh, Orlando? Orlando, Orlando, Orlando. And whose trailer is that? Yeah, huh? And whose trailer is that? Yeah, for me. Yeah. And it's your trailer? Yes. Okay. So your friend's truck or your trailer? Okay. You don't have a truck? Yeah, my truck is a broken. Oh, what the happened? Motor is broken. What happened? Motor? Yeah. What kind of motor you got? Yeah, it's in the, in the truck. Oh. Let me see your bill lading for the freight. Yeah. What's in the trailer today, sir? Mm -hmm. What's inside the trailer? Uh, it's a freezer. Huh? A freezer, freezer. Minus 10. It's, it's like hell. It's going to uh, a car park. This one now? Okay. Uh, Yo, cool. what are they saying? It is, it turned the damn truck off. It, it is so loud. I mean, all I heard was what's in the uh, trailer and then he kind of didn't answer. I, I mean, if he answered, I didn't hear him. Then I heard something about Starbucks. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where'd you guys pick it up from? Uh, in the thing is, uh, in the truck. Yeah, yeah, we love books, huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm happy to No lockbook? Why not? Huh? No? No. Do you have a lockbook? No. You got a lockbook? No. Why not? No. You guys don't write the lockbook? No. Do you have one you can fill out right now? Hmm? No. Do you have a lockbook you can fill out? Yeah, yeah. I have there. No, no. Well, let me see. Can you stay in Phoenix for five days? At the truck stop? Yeah, Can you get a look? Okay. All right. Let's check all the lights. Thank you. I'm gonna check that car signature.
Now, we know that is illegal when it's your car, right? If you're driving your car and if they ask you, hey, can we search your vehicle? And they don't have probable cause, like they don't smell drugs, they don't smell or they don't see a weapon or something or they don't they just don't have probable cause and they simply ask you to search your car. You can say no because that is your rights, right? And if they go ahead and still search the car, that is illegal. But somebody let me know in the comments with trucking. Is that different? Because, you know, your car is your personal car, but with the truck, that's uh, that's different, right? Let me know in the comments the legality of the police being able to search the truck if the truck owner said, nah, you can't search it. Or can they even say no to the police in this kind of situation? Let me know in the comments because, like I said, if it's, it's your personal car, you can say no all day, especially if they don't have probable cause. And in this situation, he didn't give him any kind of word on why he would be searching the car. He asked him, hey, do you have any illegal things in the, in the vehicle? He said, nah. And he's like, all right, do you mind if we search it? Why do you need to search it if you don't got probable cause for the truck having any illegal things do you guys get what i'm trying to say let me know in the comments would that be illegal for him to search this truck if the truck driver said no i don't know y'all let me know Please, please, for the love of God, don't tell me that that's the box where all the weight is hidden. Do not. Please don't. I, If I press play on this and he opens that box up and it has cocaine in it, I, I might even delete the video, bro. That would piss me off so much. That's the hiding spot under your pillow, bro. <laughs> you can't be that slow. It, nah, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. The video, the video glitched. Let me see here. Let me go back a second. All right. Please don't tell me that that box is where everything is hidden. Please, please, please. I think it was, y'all. I think it was. I think they were that stupid. Uh, turn around right now. His mind's back. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I, if you, you're telling me you're transferring that much weight with you. You know how much it's worth. You know how much you're facing in jail time if you get caught with it. And out of all places in the truck, you don't put it with the product. Like, first of all, let me say this, right? Because y'all know this platform is soft. I don't condone any of this behavior. Obviously, we don't condone drug, none of that shit. So let's put that to the side, bro. You're moving that kind of weight and you don't think to put it in like a tomato box, bro, under the tomatoes or something or under the actual product that you're tr uh, carrying in the truck. You put it under your bed in a big ass box brown box that is super visible and easy and super accessible as well are you stupid are you dumb is this your first time doing this or have you been doing this for so long that you just stopped taking safety precautions you're playing around with that much weight that much jail time that much of somebody's money and that's where you hide it i guess you just can't expect too much from these kinds of people bro you just can't this is just super low iq behavior man um and another thing is this 100% confirms the fact that there's a snitch, that the snitch knew exactly. And, and the snitch wasn't just anybody. The snitch was a part of this operation. The snitch was a part of their crew because that snitch gave them not just specific information. He gave them the exact location of where the product is because as y'all saw the police officer went straight for his pillow straight for that cardboard box because he already knew he was already tipped off that just confirmed the fact that there's a mega snitch there's the super snitch a superstar of all snitches not even he didn't just say hey man that truck is carrying weight that snitch gave him the exact location it's in the cardboard box under his bed in the bed behind the driver's seat i wonder if we're going to be able to see who's who actually told in this video man and this just reinforces the point that you just don't 
get involved with this shit, bro. You don't. I promise you, you don't. Because all it takes is this. Just one person to snitch on you and you're all going down and you're all going to have to snitch on each other. It, it is just a lifestyle that is bound for destruction, bro. Let's see, though. Don't move. No se mueva. Manos arriba. Hey, chip. I don't know what's wrong. You tell me. You tell me where you put any handcuffs on me. I'll let you know her just a minute. I'll get you back. Can I make a call? Yep. Manos arriba. Manos arriba. I can't believe y'all like I can't really believe that the police officer knew exactly where the box was like in the last video they at least brought the dogs out to confirm right they brought the dogs out the dog sniffed the car and confirmed that there's drugs in it this one nah he just literally went straight for the goods he knew exactly where they were <sighs> Sientese. Sientese. See a little bit of the, the right? It's not tight. I can put my finger in there. Just the way your hand is. There you go. Good? We'll adjust them when somebody else gets here. You can put it on the front. You're twisting your... Huh? You can put it on the front. When somebody else gets here. Okay? Did I make a hand? Yeah, yeah. I got somebody coming. You guys can get up off the ground here in just a minute. We'll adjust the cups, okay? What is it? So I got somebody else coming. I need to read you your rights. You have the right, before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have him with you during questioning. If you can't afford a lawyer now, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. Do you understand your- What do y'all think? Do y'all think they're actually going to be smart, be quiet, and stay solid at least in the initial phase, and then lawyer up and go from there? Or do y'all think they're going to be as dense and as backstabbing as that one, um, what's her name, the IG thought, bro, in the last uh, <laughs> cartel video, or I should say drug bust video. She literally started snitching without no guarantees at all. No, <laughs> yo, yo, you guys are hilarious, bro. Some of the comments were funny as hell. I think somebody commented. She, she didn't even ask for a cigarette. She just started snitching. And that is really what happened. She started snitching without securing guarantees, written guarantees by the police that they would favor her in court that they would be lenient to her they would give her a deal she just started snitching she started giving it all up and she didn't only just snitch on her friends bro she snitched immediately on her friends and immediately on the cartel on body uh, on camera so that was like basically a death sentence in all realms i'm curious are these two gonna stay solid at least in the initial phase or will one of them start cooperating immediately because y'all gotta understand that when it's something this serious there is no such thing as loyalty. There isn't at all whatsoever. Loyalty should be expected of people who have dignity and honor and who wouldn't get you involved in shit like this. But with these kinds of people, bro, loyalty runs out the window immediately because you're facing time, a lot of time. Why would you ever not try to get yourself out of that situation? And it's just a lose-lose because, <sighs> hold on, man. Just yes or no? Yeah. 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 I don't have a Spanish one, so we'll get you one later. I'm sorry. Can I get my phone number? My phone? So I can make a call? Is it? Who you gonna call? Oh my god, this is it. Okay, I'll call it. I'm my baby mama. Your baby? Yeah, my baby mama. Is that right? You say your baby mama? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
Maybe we'll do that in a little bit, okay? All right. Can I smoke a cigarette real quick? Yeah, I'm waiting for the other guy to get here. We're about three minutes away. Hey, at least he's asking for a cigarette. <laughs> oh, man. It, it's just such a messed up situation, bro. It really is, but... We're not trying to do nothing stupid. I hope no, not. We're, we're calling over you. All right. Uh, Fun, okay. Right. You want to talk to me about anything that's going on today? No, I don't know why you pull those over. Okay. Well, I do. I do uh, commercial vehicle inspections. That's why. That's why I stopped you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna be up front. Looks like there's some drugs in the truck. Okay. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to cooperate with us or not. If you don't want to make any statements, that's fine. I don't know what's going on. So, okay. See, this cop, as messed up as this situation is, right? Because at the end of the day, no matter what you look at it, no matter what angle you look at it from, they're moving cocaine that will end up hurting and harming human beings, right? That is not something good at all. But as messed up as this situation is, this police officer actually has some honor. He didn't scare and coerce them into an immediate confession like the last police officers. Now, I'm not saying that's the right or wrong thing to do. I don't know. That's for the cops to, to, to do, right? But this officer actually told them, hey, you don't have to give statements if you don't want to. You don't have to cooperate if you don't want to. He didn't have to say that. He said that out of the courtesy of trying to save them from putting themselves in a jail cell for the rest of their life or turning into a target for the cartel by snitching on body cam like the last video i keep bringing the last video up but it's a direct comparison bro so as messed up as this situation is this police officer what he just said is honorable bro it really is let's see how it plays out though are you able to translate by asking something yeah okay ask him if he wants to cooperate with this investigation can you ask him that We'll, we'll stop it there for now. Feel like weed in here, don't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, these two boxes. It's right there. Now it's covered up like this. So, I'll take a couple pictures of that. Still use your camera? Yeah. And this just shows you the difference between movies and real life. Because if you've seen any of those cartel shows, the, I forgot the name of it, the Pablo Escobar one, the, all of those, bro, they show out these, 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 I'll call them movers. I'll say that. As sophisticated, extremely smart and dangerous individuals, the way they would do it, they would put it into like a box with other products on top of it and they would put it inside of like a like a goddamn watermelon and make the watermelon look real and then they would put it under a bunch of boxes and they put it at the bottom of the load of the entire truck and they would fill the entire truck with a bunch of that so that way even if you tried to look for it you would have to unload the entirety of the weight I'm, I'm talking about the entirety of the um the, the what's it called the truck bro you'd have to unload all of it and go through everything with a, a fine toothpick bro and then find the weight that's what it looked like in shows in reality they just put that shit into one cardboard box or two actually put them under the uh, pillow of the bed and that's it and cover it up with one sheet and, and that's it <laughs> yeah it does smell like weed in here mm -hmm. That's a lot of money, bro. That is a lot of money. And drugs, obviously. Well, we can bring those out. You want to grab one? I'll grab the other. Yo, I know I said it like once or twice now. I'm just still shocked because 
I'm going to repeat it one more time. The police officer knew exactly where to look for this. He knew exactly where it was. There is only one way that can happen. A snitch. One way. Literally just one way. Even when he went inside the bed, he didn't look at the right side. He looked immediately at the left side. That's how detailed the snitch was. That is crazy, bro. It is crazy. <laughs> Where's the other box at? Okay, cool. Let me know in the comments, are they rookies or have they just been doing this for so long that they just stopped caring? You didn't even try to mix this in with anything else, put one in one box and put, like I said, bro, you didn't try to conceal this at all. You just put the product into two cardboard boxes, bro. And that's it. I mean, were you begging to get caught? A snitch or no snitch? Like it should not be this easy to discover. It's just rookie behavior, man. It really is. I'll say this though. That's a lot of drugs that won't be used. That's a lot of people that will be saved. But oh boy, are they cooked. Are, are they cooked? So Y'all can let me know in the comments what kind of time are they facing for in the title $2 million plus worth of cocaine, bro. This one, let me see if it says any uh, description on how much time they're going to be facing. Let's see here. Nah, it doesn't say anything about how much time they're facing. But I mean, since the last girls were face, I, okay. To be honest, theirs was a lot crazier, bro. Uh, not crazier, what? Was a lot crazier because this one is two boxes and it's worth two million plus. Y'all can let me know what kind of time are they facing? Are they facing a lifetime like uh, the last video? Because in the last video, I think they had seven bags of meth. And that they were facing literally life in prison for. So I wonder what this is, bro. And like I said, this shows y'all how little loyalty there is when you're involved with the scum of the earth. Let me explain myself when I say the scum of the earth, because, bro, most people that you're dealing with when you're in this world of crime, when you're dealing with this, this bad shit, bro, are not honorable people with dignity and love for you at all. They will sell you for any kind of money. They will kill you for any kind of money. They will snitch on you for any kind of deal. So that is exactly what you're asking for, bro. All it takes is one mistake. 
you'll get away with it for a long time. Let's say you get away with doing this for 10 years and you make a lot of money. How does the story always end, bro? Even goddamn Pablo Escobar, you know how they got him. He got shot on a rooftop. That's the big boss. He was, bro, he was a G too. He he was the kind of guy, and, and this is crazy to even bring up, but he literally took a picture in front of the White House while being the most wanted man. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. And even him, how did he end up? Jail or dead? So my point is, if you don't know what you're getting to, bro, and just in general, just don't get involved with this. And I'm talking about the big deal shit. I'm not talking about the small stuff. Even the small stuff, stay away from it because it could lead you to this, bro. But just never get involved with this. Just don't. Because I promise you, that money that you're chasing is, is not worth what you could face, which is literally death or jail, bro. It's just not worth it. May God keep all of us safe from this shit. And I'm still bamboozled and just flabbergasted and comalgasted in any kind of word you want to put, bro, that the police officer knew exactly where to look. He went exactly for <laughs> the loot. Somebody snitched. And that's what the description says anyway. So, but that snitch is actually a lot smarter because we don't know who he is. His identity isn't as public as the last girl. He didn't put a hit on his head. He didn't snitch on camera to millions of people. The snitch is anonymous. If you're going to snitch, be this snitch. <laughs> But in all seriousness, y'all can let me know what y'all think about this crazy video nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, besides that, go join the Patreon. We got a lot of crazy content on there. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. Take care of yourselves and the summer marathon continues. Peace out.